Okay, Ephesians 3. All right, for this one we start out with a cloud, and a cloud is basically just bumps. You can do big and little bumps. This cloud is going to have a flat bottom, or you could do a cloud that's got bumps all around. The main thing about clouds is just to make sure that you're varying your bigs and your littles. And then you can add interest by just doubling the lines. You could double them just like on one side, just like the bottom. Uh, it kind of makes it look 3D. And then you, could, or you could double it all the way around, or you could just do that sloppy fast outline, which looks fine too. And then we're going to do um, Paul praying. So it's basically a bowling pin person again, but we're going to make the body shorter. And we're going to go out like that. And it's like Paul praying from the side, from a side view. And we'll go out like that. And then put his feet here. And then his eye is closed. And he's still got his hair cut. And his beard. And then I'm just going to draw an arm angled up like that, like he's praying. That's Paul praying. You can draw his other arm back there too. Well, it doesn't really even look right, but that's okay because it's not about art. It's just when you are writing about Paul's prayer and you see this guy, hopefully you'll know that he's praying. And then we're going to do brackets um, for one part. So, you know, the brackets like this, like parentheses, but fancier. So you can do them just like that, just down and bump out, or you can do some big uh, double line brackets. So you start like that, then you do a line here and here, and then you just copy that first line. Same thing here. Down, down, and then copy. That's good, and you can color that in. You can add stripes, polka dots, whatever you want. And then I had just some of the um, seashore accessory doodles. And one was, again, another starfish like I did in Ephesians chapter 1. This one, I just did some lines going down each arm for some interest. Then you can add some dots if you want, all over or just on the sides. And then there's also a bumpy shell, and that... I just did some bumps, and then you go back along the same, make it wider at the base, and like a circle at the end, and then I just did some lines. They don't even go all the way up and touch, and you can double sloppy outline it, color that in if you want, one of those kind of shells. And that's it for Ephesians 3.